This is Info Life TV headline news, November 22nd. I'm Algo Dudkevich. The U.S. Aviation Week reported that the U.S. provided Israel with information about Syrian air defenses before Israel attacked a suspected nuclear site in Syria. The Weekly said the U.S. was monitoring the electronic emissions coming from Syria during Israel's attack. The attack was preceded by an engagement with a single Syrian radar near the Turkish border. The London-based Arabic-language newspaper Al Hayat reported Thursday that Syria has decided not to attend the upcoming Middle East peace conference to be held in Annapolis next week. According to the report, Syria is waiting for the outcome of a meeting of Arab foreign ministers held in Cairo Thursday before officially announcing its intention. Lebanon marked its Independence Day on Thursday, gripped by anxiety about the failure so far to clinch an agreement on a new president and avert possible violence. There was no military parade or other events to mark the 64th anniversary of Lebanon's independence. The election, first slated for September 25th, has been put off four times. If elections were held today, opposition leader and Likud chairman Benjamin Netanyahu would become Israel's next prime minister, according to a Shvakim panorama poll conducted for Israel Radio. Netanyahu's Likud party would garner 31 mandates, Prime Minister Olmert 13 and Defense Minister Hud Barak 20. Egyptian police discovered a ton of explosives hidden in an underground cache on the border with the Gaza Strip during a search for smuggling tunnels on Thursday. The explosives were discovered behind a school in the sparsely populated Akhrash region near the border town of Rafiach. Greenpeace activists arrived Thursday morning at a conference on the nuclear issue at Tel Aviv University, stripped in protest a few minutes before the start of a speech by President Shimon Peres. Anti-nuclear activists stripped to their underclothes and painted their stomachs with radiation symbols. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, Deb Cohen InfoLive TV joined forces to bring you exclusive footage of Al-Qaeda. And Nablus awaits ammo and armored vehicles, Hamas in Gaza plan, Annapolis strategy. And the Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf visits the region to promote peace and economic development. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.